here's how to create a two-way sync between Notion and Google Sheets using Whale Sync. Because the sync is already set up, you can see tasks that are in Notion syncing to Google Sheets as I make a change in Notion. So let's add a new one here, like add a logo. And the description might be give a new logo. And why don't we mark this as done and set a due date of the eighth. You can see that as I add this task into Notion, it instantly and automatically syncs into Google Sheets and starts to create that same record over here. And there is the entire record, and there we go. Now, because this is a two-way sync, I can do the same thing on the other side. So this add a logo, I could add a new uh, task over to Google Sheets, or I can even just update this existing ones. So maybe we mark this back to to-do, and we change this to add the fire logo. Now, in a few seconds here, you'll see this instantly sync back over to Notion. So this logo status has been updated. And in a few more seconds here, the name will update as well. So a two-way sync like this can be great when not everyone on the team is in Notion. So teammates outside of Notion can now view and even edit and add tasks all from Google Sheets. And the best part is that there's no need for manual copying and pasting. There's no need for complicated zaps. It's all just set up and syncing automatically. So I'll show you how you can set this up yourself in Whale Sync. In Whale Sync, it's really just a few easy steps. Basically, what you'll do is first create a sync and connect your data sources, in this case, Notion and Sheets. You're then gonna map your data tables together. So in our example here, we had a tasks database in Notion and a tasks sheet in Google Sheets. In Whale Sync, the way that looks is just like this. Tasks database on the left side, tasks sheets on the right, and these two are mapped together. After you've mapped the tables, you're going to map the individual fields. So we talked about a name field, a status field, and a due date. All these are just mapped as well with simple dropdowns. From there, you can set the sync direction. So here, we'll sync everything two-way by default. But let's say status is something you didn't want to make updatable in Google Sheets. You can sync that one way or just one way like this. And now it'll only flow single directionally from Notion to Sheets for that field while everything else will be two-way sync. Once we've added all our field mappings, another step we can take here is adding a filter. So let's say we only wanted to sync records where the status was to do. We can add a filter like that, and that will limit the things that Whale Sync includes in the sync. Of course, you don't need a filter if you want to sync at all, like we did in the last example, and that works fine as well. Once we've set up all of our table and field mappings, from there, all we're going to do is prepare an initial sync and turn it on and Whale Sync will automatically keep everything up to sync. So just like you saw, any updates in Notion will automatically sync to Google Sheets and vice versa. And that's really it. That's how you set up a two-way sync between Notion and Sheets using Whale Sync. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We're happy to help out.